Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mitch from We in Tennessee. And today's video, like I promised, is gonna be about food. Oh, Ooh, yeah. You know, as we were moving from California to Tennessee, that was kind of one of our thoughts was, hey, what's the food going to be like? Come on, everybody loves food and everybody finds, you know, you know the expression, you know, uh, it's eat to live, not live to eat. But, you know, we just love food. You know, we enjoy it. It's, uh, you know, the centerpiece of our family as far as conversation and togetherness. And that was one thing that we all thought is what's the food going to be like? What do we gravitate towards? What's the common things that we would find that we knew back in California? What were some of the new things that we would find? So, Let's go ahead and get started because I'm sure some of you that live in California and are interested coming to Tennessee would think about the food. So here we go. Let's start with the things that we found similar. So there's Hardee's and for those of you in California, that would be Carl's Jr. And we have not visited a Hardee's yet. We've visited Hardee's before on multiple trips out here, but not since we've been here to stay. There is one being built a couple of miles down the road, and so I'm sure eventually we will go there. Uh, but again, Carl's Jr. and Hardy, same thing, same company, same brand. I'm Tell me if I'm wrong. but um, And so we, we have seen Taco Bell. We've seen McDonald's. We have seen Burger King. Um, Pizza Hut is something that we didn't normally visit in California, but here in Tennessee, it is so much better than Domino's was for us in California. So we hit up Pizza Hut and you know what? That's pretty cheap. You know, we can get away with 20 bucks, feed our family two large pizzas. And so we're loving the Pizza Hut out here. Um, what else is common? Um, as far as restaurants go, we've been to an Olive Garden already. Um, another restaurant that we, uh, you know, one of those, it's kind of the same is those of you that have been to Bob's Big Boy, they're starting to disappear in California. We were in Beaumont. We had a Carl's, or not Carl's, a Bob's Big Boy just right down the road in Cala Mesa. But in Tennessee, there are Shoney's, and they're supposed to be the same thing. We've been, been a little disappointed, and we know how it goes. You know, you can't really judge a place on one trip, but that was something that we were a little disappointed in, Shoney's, but you know what? We thought we would go back and try it again one of these days. So we were definitely interested in the newer places. So Buddy's Barbecue. For those of you that are in California, that's similar to, I would say, like a Dickies. You know, that barbecue, pulled pork, um, you know, type thing. Tri-tip. Um, and so... That place was actually pretty good. Potato salad, um, all the, you know, the fixings. Um, and we thought that was pretty good. Price-wise, it was pretty good and comparable. Definitely less than Dickie's was in California. Definitely cheaper. Um, as far as the quality, we went once. Um, I thought it was pretty good. You know, I, I, there was nothing to knock. It was, I thought it was pretty good. Um, another thing that we went to is cookout. Cookout has burgers comparable to another place. I really don't know about comparing it because, um, you know, some places have their own style. Cookout is just mostly, mostly burger shakes, onion rings, fries. That place is pretty good. The price I thought was pretty comparable, to, uh, you know, to a lot of places in California. It wasn't too expensive. Um, another place that we really, really like is Culver's. Um, burgers shakes but I, I thought their burgers were better than cookouts sorry if i offended anybody uh, but culver's we have gone there twice already and we ha we need to go back for shakes um because we just you know think that it's kind of one of their fortes and we're you know we just didn't get a chance to do that when we went um another place uh we definitely love dq dairy queen we had those in california out here, we just love their ice cream. Um, a little pricey, though, I'm going to have to say. I, You know, I think it was kind of pricey back in California, too. So we thought Tennessee, it might be different. But, you know, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well what do you do? Um, we wanted to see if we could find good Italian. 
So we went to a gondolier in Harriman, Tennessee. There's actually another gondolier in Maribel. We have not gone to that one yet, but we were very surprised how good the Italian was. Um, I believe we had pizza, we had fettuccine, and it, we were really, really impressed how good the food was. Now, I will say this. In California, you get very used to good Mexican, Mexican food, because, you know, you're so close to Mexico. And there's so many people that will cook good Mexican food. I warn you, I my, one of my buddies that's been here, you know, a few years that came over from California too, expecting, I don't know, I don't know what he was expecting, but he's like, Mitch, there's not a lot of good Mexican out here. And I'm not going to, hopefully I'm not going to offend anybody. We went to Los Amigos in Maribel, and my bar of expectation was set pretty low because, you know, he said there's just really not that great Mexican. But I saw that Los Amigos had a lot of good reviews. So we're like, let's check that place out. I was pretty impressed. I, you know, I said, I'm just going to get what I normally would get in California. Ground beef taco, ground beef enchilada comes with the Mexican rice and beans. I was, I was pretty satisfied. I was like, that's pretty good. Uh, my wife normally gets like a chimichanga type thing. She was a little bit eh, disappointed. Um, so we came out of that one kind of maybe disagreeing on if it was good or not. Um, there's also salsaritas. Um, it's kind of like a chipotle for those of you in California. You know, they got the carne asada or steak. They got chicken. And then you just kind of put everything together, the black beans, the salsa and everything like that. Um, I'm, I'm riding the fence on that one. They definitely have good chips, queso and guacamole. Um, I would say it, it's pretty so-so. I wasn't blown away by it, but I also was not disgusted by it either. Um, and I'm trying to think whether I've missed out on anything. Um, we were definitely shocked by... Bojangles. Bojangles, if you don't know, is, is a chicken place. You know, they, they have, it's kind of like a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, I was pretty impressed with Bojangles. I, I went in with very low expectations, just saying, hey, I'm just going to get what I'm, you know, chicken, you surprise me. And it was surprisingly good. So um, there's other places we have yet to go to. But all in all, you know, when you come to Tennessee, you're going to give up your in and out For those of you in California, you know what I'm talking about. You're going to just give give away some of that great Mexican food that you're used to having. And so your expectations, you know, you already have this pretty bar. You know, the bar is set pretty high. Um, but you just have to realize where you are, you know. Um, can they have great Mexican everywhere? No, not really. And so you just kind of take what you can get. Um, and But you know what? We're still embracing everything about being here. And the food, we have not been necessarily disappointed. I almost forgot. You know, my son and I, we wanted some good Japanese food. And we went to a place called uh, Sakura. And it was pretty good. You know, coming from California, there's, you know, a lot of Japanese places. And then we, we thought, okay, in Maribel, are you going to have good Japanese food? We were very, very surprised and very pleasantly surprised. My son had sushi. Um, I think there was salmon on it. Um, I had the uh, steak or beef teriyaki, which was, you know, it just gave me one of those back home type feelings of good Japanese food. So, you know what? We've just, we've just been very satisfied and impressed have we been flipping, you know, doing backflips over all the food? No, I mean, you know, but we haven't gone everywhere either. We've only been here, what, two and a half months. So I just thought we would talk about food. We, I know you guys like food. If you want to throw down in the comments section a place that we should go check out, um, definitely we're open to trying anything. Um, and it's just been fun to just try places we haven't been to hey let's try buddy's barbecue let's go to culver's and just experience experience and experiment what tennessee has to offer the newness of food um but you know what when it comes down to it we cannot beat my wife's just down home cooking of 
you know, we can't do restaurants and fast food all the time because, again, money is an issue. You know, the cost of living is not considerably lower here. Um, so we just have to, when we get the chance, go out and enjoy a good meal here. So, all right, guys, thank you so much again for joining me on this channel. It's so good to just talk to you and being able to share all the experience that we have been going through here in Tennessee. Oh, an update, you know, we it's Sunday and we did go to a church today that we felt pretty good about. Um, people were friendly, sermon and worship were right on. And so we're deciding to go back again next week and just see how everything goes. So definitely looking up, because I know that was one of those things I said was not necessarily perfect about life in Tennessee for us right now, but things could change. And we're, we were just really, you know, we we're really happy as we went walked away we're like that was pretty good you know let's go let's come back again next week and so i'll give you an update after next sunday about how everything goes okay so if you're new to this channel my name is mitch we're my family has moved from california here to tennessee and we're experiencing and enjoying everything that this wonderful state has to offer and i would appreciate it if you hit that like button that subscribe button and that bell so every wednesday and saturday you just get a reminder that I've uploaded a new video, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.